Hey, what's up? If you're not even sure where to start, if you're totally overwhelmed on where to stay when you're visiting a Disney theme park, then hopefully this video will answer all of your questions. I'm Brett Shuford, Broadway actor, and on this channel I give tips, tricks, and tools to help you live your best Broadway life, and sometimes a little Disney too. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click subscribe and click the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. I have friends who know me as being a huge Disney nerd. I know a lot about Disney. And to be honest, it's my favorite place to go. And I'll probably make a video about why Disneyland is actually my favorite over Disney World, but very controversial, but in this video, I just wanna help explain to those of you who are maybe planning your first trip, the essentials that you need to know when booking a hotel. When staying on Disney property, they have their own resorts. Disney Resort hotels are in three tiers. You've got value resorts, moderate resorts, and deluxe resorts. The value resorts are basically like a motel. Okay, but it's a Disney motel, meaning it's just a little bit nicer and it's themed. The moderate resorts are a step up from a motel. So you're talking about there's probably a lobby. Your entrance is not necessarily going to be outside. You might actually enter from a hallway and they're usually a little bit closer to the parks. So the value resorts are further. The moderate resorts tend to be a little bit closer. And then the third tier is deluxe resorts. And these resorts tend to be really close to the parks. They tend to be incredibly luxurious and tend to be the most expensive. And when we're talking price, we're talking ranging from $100 a night to over $800 a night, depending on the size of your room. Why would you wanna spend this much money to stay at a Disney resort? There's a lot of perks that come with staying at Disney. Most of them are around transportation, so if you're closer to the park, it doesn't take as long to get to the park. There's also the deluxe resorts and the moderate resorts tend to have more than one option for transportation, where the value resorts tend to only have maybe one uh, you know, or two. So there's some resorts that have boats that'll take you to the parks. There are some resorts that uh, only have buses. There's some that have this access to the Skyliner and there's some that have access to the monorail. So all things you want to consider when you're thinking about transportation, getting to and from the hotel. The biggest perk is that you get access to extra magic hours. Extra magic hours at Disney are usually one park opens every day a little bit early or stays open a lot late. And you get extra time only for people who are staying at Disney resorts. And as nice as that sounds, when I first went to the park, I don't know, 20 years ago, and extra magic hours started, it was great because there was nobody around. But now there's so many resorts that they still can be pretty crowded depending on uh, the time of year and when you're going. That's a huge perk though because you can get some attractions in, you can get into the park and the crowds will be a little bit less than when the park is actually open. You will be paying a premium for food. Disney food prices aren't cheap and transportation is included but transportation depending on what resort you're staying at can take a long time. So there's a whole question about should you rent a car, should you bring a car, should you use a car where you're gonna end up paying extra for parking. Those are all questions that you really have to ask yourself when it comes to what's the best way to spend your money. How much time are you gonna be spending at the hotel? Would you wanna be going back to the room in the middle of the day? Those are questions you really wanna ask yourself when you're talking about planning because don't forget, Time is money. And you can make more money, but you can't make more time. What is it worth to you? So that is my quick and dirty lesson in Disney resorts. How useful is this for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want more content like this, let me know what questions you have from a semi-Broadway Disney expert. And I'll see you in the next video.